Hello again. <laughs> I will start sharing my screen in a minute. We are going to have a session now on data sets and validation rules. So welcome back from the break. So data sets, sorry for those who have just listened to this four minutes, I'm going to repeat everything because I didn't share my screen. Um, data sets are integrated to programs in the, in the home screen. They just look as one more activity and they follow the same principles for sharing settings. And icons and colors also apply. So they are just listed here as one more activity. This is how data sets look on your application. You can navigate the sections with tabs. In this case, we only have one, but they would appear here. These little arrows are letting you adapt the width of your column based on the length of your data element name. And you can have inside the tab as many tables as you want. And if you swipe, it will you will be able to navigate the different headers, the different columns. And once the tab, the table is completed, it will roll to the next section. We only have one, so in this demo, we will not see it. Uh, this is the detailed screen, same navigation bar that we have all across the application. You can do data entry or details. So in the details, you see if the event, if the data set is open or completed, you see the period and the order unit. You have also the information up here anyway. So it's just the status. And one, when one, when one data set is complete, you can reopen it by using the three dots here, reopen. Uh, we will also display here, if the data set is not editable, we will display here the reason. If it's because the status is complete, if it's, and you don't have permission to reopen, if, if uh, the period has expired or the old unit is closed or any other non-editable reason. Um, validation rules, we, we, we are not explaining what <laughs> validation rules were. We understand you know validation rules because you know DHIS too. But what is important for the Android app? The description and the instructions, they will be displayed here. These arrows will be a bit higher. This is the description. And this is the action you want to tell your user to do when they find an error, right? So this is, this is the important thing to pay attention to in addition to the validation rule itself for Android. Um, how it works? As you know, validation rules can be mandatory or optional. So when they are optional, uh, when your user saves the data, the app will ask, do you also want to check data quality? So if you say no, then it will close. If you say yes and an error is found, it will show you the error screen. And it will allow your user to complete anyway because you didn't make it mandatory. So you, they can either fix the error or complete. If everything is fine, then it will tell you everything looks good. Do you want to complete the data set? as well? Now, if your validation rules are mandatory, meaning you have ticked this, see this, in your data set, then when the user saves, the validation rules are going to run without asking. And then we, we go directly to the result. If there is an error, the user will be prompted with the error and the instruction to, to fix it. But no, there will be no option to complete. You need to fix the error because the rules are mandatory. So once the error is fixed, if all is good, then the app will ask you if you want to complete and you will be done. Let's quickly have a look at our app. Because I already wasted some time with my mistake on the screen. I didn't waste it, I lost. Okay. Okay. And okay. Oh, where did it go? Here. So these are all the sets. So let's open, no, let's create one.
So we will check the rules later, but I know there is a rule, a program rule. I'm sorry, a validation rule, which is saying that there should be no more patients hospitalized than tested because all tested, all admitted patients should be hospitalized. So I'm going to force an error. Uh, this is what I was saying. You can navigate if the call, if the table is bigger. You can swipe. If we had more sections, once we reach the end, which this is a big one, it would move to the next section. But I'm going to stop here. Here is where you play with the columns. So I'm going to say that we have a, six patients hospitalized and five tested. And I'm going to say, and the same. Okay, you saved it. It's not mandatory. So, do you want to check data quality? Yes. Okay, there is one error. And this is the description the number of patients cannot be higher than the number of patients. All admitted patients will be tested. Please review the numbers in the second table. This is my instruction. You have six hospitalized, five tested. I can't complete anyway, but I don't want to. I'm going to fix this because it was an error. So I have six patients now. Oh, M. I want to say, and check quality. Everything looks good. Do you want to complete? Yes. So this is actually what you have to do in the exercise. I'm going to have a look at the server. So if we look at our validation rules, there are three. This is the one I have triggered. You see, number of patients cannot be higher. We have all the same data set. So you only need to enter data and force the error. Okay. So um, I'm going to change now. The other one is um, there can be, cannot be more deaths confirmed than cases confirmed. They should be equal or greater. And there cannot be a more PCR tests than all tests, because there are other methods, right? But we cannot have more PCR than the global number. So there are three rules. You just need to trigger one with an error and then fix the error. Uh, so I'm going to change the configuration of the data set now for demo purposes. So this is the tick, complete allowed only if validation passes. This is going to make the um, Validation mandatory. So if we think now, you can start with your exercise already. <laughs> I will I will not leave it mandatory later. Oh yes, I mean it doesn't matter. What you need to you need to trigger the error and fix it. So are there any questions? Not so far in the chat, but not in the Slack. Deepika, uh, I think, or yeah, and Pacific as well was having some issues, but Jaime Toka has been helping him. Okay. I think it should be okay. <laughs> this is done. So if I go now to my data set, I'm going to use the same one. I'm going to reopen. So I'm going to force the error again. And now you will see the difference is that it's not going to ask if I want to check validation rules. Oh, 
Oh no, I, <laughs> I, I didn't force the error. We should have more hospitalized and tested. Okay, you see, it didn't ask. It's telling me straight away that I need to fix this and I don't have an option to complete. So this is what you have to do. You need to force the error and then fix the error and, and take a screenshot of the error <laughs> and then a screenshot of everything looks good. So let's go, go to our exercise. So you need to enter data for the data set COVID-19 surveillance. We all shared it but you are or each one of you in a different unit. So you, are, you will not see any value in principle. You need to, to enter one period, force an error in the validation rules, see the error, then fix the error and save the data, the data set and complete the data set. What we expect you to submit is two screenshots. One of the data set entry screen with the error showing the, the error, a message and then a screenshot of the data set entry screen showing that everything looks good you have you have fixed the error this is, this is this is a simple exercise we hope you can complete it with the time we have um hi me we are here until i have it here wow that was quick until 11.35. So please use this time. We have 25 minutes uh, to do this exercise and the previous one, if you couldn't finish it, please share your questions. We are here, yeah, all of us to, to help you with that. Good luck. <laughs> Let me check the chat. Hello, sorry, someone was asking for help. Uh, and unfortunately, my Zoom had closed twice, so I've lost the chat. So, um, if you can please ask the question again, either in the chat or in the, in the okay. Slack. Yes, yes, okay. I'm not... Thank you. 
Jesús. Jaime, the slides from Jose are shared now. What do I yes, they, they should be. They yeah. should be shared. I went through them and they are shared. Yeah. Okay. But are you checking the, the validation rules, the permissions that people are asking on the chat? Uh, no, I didn't see that, sorry. And also, I know someone was telling me I'm waiting for support, Jaime, but the thing is, my, my, my Zoom drop. I don't know what happened. When I try to put an accent, it closes, so I think there's something wrong. So I could not, uh, I've lost the, the chat. So if you were asking me something, please go to Slack and put it on the Android Help channel. The validation rules are, are, are shared. Why they cannot see? Exactly. Ah, maybe they don't have access to the, to the, but no, no. Is it public? I didn't see. They are. Uh, okay. Did you change this? Because maybe you have to wait. I need to force the cache. No. No, I think they are not in the group, eh? in, But in access, they are, no? Let me check because I... <laughs> Let me log in with a different army. No, they are not. Yeah, they are there. They, they are. I'm, I'm using an admin user. 
and the, the validation rules are there. Who cannot see them, if we can ask? I'm not open the legend. Yeah, probably because we have not opened it to edit. Because otherwise we cannot make sure. You can duplicate if you want and play with it maybe. No, you cannot. We got, we we cannot um, open the edit permissions for for the legend now because then we cannot make sure the exercise will work well. Sorry. So Jean Paul, I do not have permissions on validation rules. Do you see the validation rules? Which kind of uh, permissions you need? Are you trying to edit or to see? Yeah, you don't have permissions to edit. Again, we cannot uh, open for editing this uh, because the, the exercise completion depends on the rules. Unfortunately, if that's what you mean, Jean Paul. Are we recording? Yes. Jaime, are we recording? Yes, yes, yes. It's the one that you had an issue. Why well, I don't see it? Ah, it's here, yes. Okay. Because I'm sharing the screen and then the bar disappears and, and everything. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a bit. Guys, we're, uh, um, we're, yeah. we're having some, some support. So if at one point you see that we forget to reply you, please don't hesitate to comment there or ping us because uh, I know I've been replying to many questions. So if uh, I apologize already if I missed some of you, but please let us know. I'm trying to go through all of them, but uh, I might miss something. So please ping us. That's a very good question. Why can't I create a validation rule? Um, you, you don't have the authority. Probably the permission, yeah. yeah. Can we give them the authority, maybe? Yes, let me. I can, I can, I can. Just asking if it's okay. But I have. Mm, I, th I thought I have. Uh... No, I have the same for the um, wrong rule variables. Yeah, in the, yeah. Is this one, no? The, first, the second, yeah. I mean, yeah. We have enabled you to create validation rules in case I know. But they will run, they will run for everyone. It's going to be a bit confusing. No. Because <laughs> we are sharing the, um, we are sharing the data set. And then if you create a validation rule, it will run for everyone. And then maybe it's impossible to correct all errors and to know all the rules that are running. So I'm sorry, Pacific. Uh, you can play with the validation rules in the either your testing server or the demo DHIS2 server, but in this training server, uh, just to make sure you can complete the exercise, we cannot allow you to add validation rules because we are sharing one uh, of data set for all in the exercise. Mm -hmm. But it, the answer is, it, there is an authority for that that needs to be assigned to the um, 
to the user role. Marta, sorry, I was on Slack. I don't know if you have been following on the chat. Maybe you reply already. I'm sorry, but uh... no, I haven't. I've been on Slack. Sorry, Ale. Jaime, I'm still waiting for help. That's the one. That's all. Yeah. Jean Paul, I'm following what you are saying. Unless you want, Jean Paul, is this old? Um, Jaime, was this a conversation with you? No. Hello, the assignment is not to create a validation rule. It's in the screen. Enter data. You don't need to create a validation rule. You need to enter data in your data set and force an error. You don't need to create validation rules. It's a very simple exercise. Only enter values. And... Um, Jean Paul, uh, I don't know if you want to share again your problem, your issue. I'm going to share the screen again and 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 show you what you have to do. I'm going to repeat the exercise. You need to open the data set and enter one period, any. And now you need to force an error. The easiest one is the one I explained, which is that you cannot have more hospitalized patients than tested. So if I have five patients hospitalized and three people tested, when I save, there is an error. This is what you have to do. We only want you to do this. And now we are telling you how to fix the error. Please review your numbers, new hospitalized and tested. So now if I fix this and save again, now everything looks good. This is the second screenshot we want to, we would like you to submit. So that's the exercise. You don't need to actually change the program rules for anything. 